Hi, I'm um, going to show you a demo of how, how to set up um, the developer environment for Idempia project. And we are referring to um, the guide from our wiki. Uh, if you go to the English um, wiki and click on Lao Heng Seng. The main um, maintainer of the OSGI implementation for Adempia now, you will find the basic resource uh, which uh, about how to set up the workspace. So if you click on the workspace, you get advice on how you set up your Eclipse environment. And uh, basically, for me, I need to add in GF before I can put in the uh, Buckminster. So, take note of that, that is that uh, um, you have to not forget GF if needed for your equals. Now, um, what you have to do is you have to clone the material Clone from this bit bucket, and this is where I get to here. And let me clear my space first. So, get to your download space, and and basically, um, sorry, sorry, let me um, then do this clone. I'll copy this command, and when you do that. Uh, you will you see some action here and basically I already have done that so uh, you will see this uh, Adam Pure repository being created and once it's done you then go to your workspace your Eclipse workspace and then you clone it again so let me just show you my workspace uh, I'll get to my workspace Okay, and then you, you do the same from this time, but from your download space. So what you do is, my download space is now, um, do this, which I have already done, and I will uh, show you that it's done here. And now that you launch your Idempia, pointing to your workspace Adempia and you can see it's blank and then what we do next is like you sit here to make a target platform and to set your target platform to this new platform and I've done that I've done that uh, you can see that this is new target platform here and then we get back to Adempia you can then uh, okay, to ensure that you, have, uh, you set the target platform, the plugin development target platform. See what has been done. Take a while. So after you've done this, then we will import through Buckminster, the sQuery file that will materialize for us and everything should be done 10 minutes after that let me get back to the Eclipse okay I've not added a new target platform this is what I'll do add a new target platform Yeah, select this next nothing to start off with and we'll give it a name right here let's give it uh, Idempia and then we press add to the directory we're looking for that new target platform directory so you browse for it uh, the workspace Idempia that's the directory and then we that's the directory and click open 
mesh and that's it it's empty without anything so select it make sure this is important that's okay and now you're ready to materialize okay. so select Buckminster materialize from superior bone uh, browse for NPSDK here and you can see that you need to look for the security so you select that extension security you got it here open and you, you will now go online so you have to be online you look for all the resources then dependencies and sub dependencies so this will take a while so to recap this is what we just um, did or rather this subsequently and once we are not ready to is searching for the resources and confirming the resources so once it's that uh, you press ok you will materialize for you but uh, this is a very important juncture because um, you will inform you if it's not able to resolve everything so this should give you all green if you cannot resolve there will be some red spots right and then when we materialize you will have your whole identity uh, workspace content uh, source park plugins appearing here let's give it a minute or so it's still resourcing from the internet so this depends on the speed of your line uh, So I'm using um, Mac OS X and the IDMP I'm using is the um, Juno 64-bit so that's why it's sourcing for Mac OS X 64-bit uh, WT uh, bundle Uh, most of my work is sponsored by Sisnova Bangladesh and um, uh, work, I together work in the IDMP team and you can find more resources and guides uh, from our page here yeah. uh, from IDMP.org and the uh, important resources among them is um, uh, the migration guide okay for you to do your own plugin and using the pack out and pack in this uh, done with the two pack and what's special about the OSGI framework is that you can have automated updating of enhancement and new modules into Idempia without much developer interference so it is a fantastic uh, jump for the open source ERP project. Well, it seems we are almost done there. Okay, so if you press next, uh, you will see that everything is green, and this is what it will pull out once you press finish. And this is what I'm doing, and it is now materializing. So if you were to go to your target platform, you will see that. Um, the uh, plugins will appear here as pull out from the internet and that's about uh, 60 or so megabyte of it so depending on your speed of your line for me it take about 10 minutes uh, to do so so I would not uh, wait for that because this is basically going to work and it's going to come up so I'm just showing you some of the crucial part here Okay, and if um, you need more, yeah, here you can see that the plugins is um, appearing. There they are. Uh, been resolved, resolved. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave it at that. And uh, if there's anything further that you need, you can go to my website or 
go to the resources as uh, spell out on this uh, web page okay and uh, that'll be all thank you for, uh, that's all from me read one and I, I just now have to end this bye bye